Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what we're going to watch or what we're going to do right now is various things that we need to know for decimals. This particular problem you see on the board is a problem that was on the worksheet yesterday. I had 7,286 questions among my 78 students, which is crazy. That seems like a large number, but evidently it's true. And many missed it, so we're going to look at getting it correctly. It was the last problem, I believe, and if I remember correctly, and I'm just doing this from memory, so um, if I forget a word or two, just forgive me on that. So this is from memory. Ava cut 16 and a half inches off a rope that was 40 inches long. How is the length of the remaining rope written in inches, written in decimal form? How is one half written as a decimal? That's your hint. That's, see, that was from memory that I just did that. So how much is left? It's going to tell us we're taking 40 inches of rope, and we have to subtract 16 and one half. But it says as a decimal. This is what really fouled people up, is how... Do I write one half as a decimal? Oh no, wait, I gotta get my phone. Cause I have an app I'm gonna use, I pay $1.99 for it, I wanna make sure I get my money's worth. Oren, how would I write one half as a decimal? Okay, 0 0.50, 0 0.5. Think of a half a dollar. If you had half a dollar, you'd have 50 cents. That'd be 0 0.50. All right, so where is another question? Garvin, where is the decimal point? Since I'm going to change this to 16 and 0.5, where's my decimal point, the number 40? After the zero. After the zero. Let me ask another question. Jaden, did they cut off one half, more than one half, less than one half of this rope? Less than? Less than a half. So my answer should be more than what, Jaden? Uh -huh. One half of 40. So it should be more than what? Uh, more than 20. Good. Because 20 is half of 40. So we've already said when we subtract with decimals or add with decimals, when we add or subtract with decimals, we have to line the decimal points up. So now we have 40 minus 16 and 5 tenths. We could make it 15 hundredths if I want. Now you've done a lot of adding and subtracting decimals so far this year. You know you cannot take 5 from nothing. So I can't just bring that 5 down. I can't take 5 from nothing. I cannot take 5 from nothing. So I need to take from my whole number. I'm going to take 1 from my whole number. So instead of 40, I'm going to have 39. I'm going to take that 1 and I'm going to split it into tenths. How many tenths are in 1? Maxwell? How many dimes in a dollar? 10. So I'm going to add 10 to what I have. I only have 0, so this becomes... So for an example, this would be $39 and 10 dimes, which would still equal $40. A lot of you just brought the five down, just brought the six down, just brought the three down, and made me insane. Because that's not how you've ever been taught to subtract. Oh, let's see, Brantley, 10 subtract five is? It's five. So we have five tenths. Nine ones, subtract six ones, Brantley. Nine ones, subtract six ones. Three. Three ones. Three tenths, subtract one ten. Two. Two. So the correct answer would be 23 and five tenths inches. Because it asked to write your answer in a decimal form. And it gave you a hint. One half as a decimal is is point five. And it also asked us so. how much um, one 
one half is as a decimal. Yes, it asked you that, so it gave you a little hint. Yeah. Let's look at something else real quick. Now we have a lot of, sometimes it tells you to change a decimal to a fraction. So if I had that decimal, and I said, Seagal, how do you say that number? Zero and 13. What well, place values the three in? The hundredths, good. Zero and 13 hundredths. Those are pronounced the same way. 13 hundredths, 13 hundredths. So anytime you need to change a decimal to a fraction, you just read whatever the decimal says. You just read whatever the decimal says. Lily, what about this one? Read it as a decimal. One and four tenths. One and four tenths. Lily, read that as a decimal. I mean as a fraction. Four tenths. Okay, one and four tenths. It's the same thing. So changing from decimals to fractions, if you can use your place values and say the decimal number, then it's easy peasy raw chicken squeezy, people. There ain't no problem with it. There ain't no problem with it. Now, the only things we can change as fractions, well, we can change some fractions to decimals of what we know now. What would one-fourth be as a decimal? Jaden, do you know what one-fourth is as a decimal? Um, if you have one-fourth of a dollar, how much do you have? No. One fourth of a dollar. Take a dollar, divide it into four equal parts. How much do you have? No. What's half a dollar? Fifty cents. What's half of that? Twenty five cents. So one fourth is going to equal to twenty five hundredths. Because it's quarters. Four quarters make a dollar. One fourth is 25 hundredths. So you'll know some of them like that. All right, boom, shock, lock, peace out. God bless, love you. Do some kind today. Save the beast. Please subscribe. I want to be rich.